I have some 18650 seals in for testing. These were sent via the maker directly to me to test and review. So I'll run through what we have included. I have two different capacities with these cells. They are flat top and unprotected IMR batteries. They're aimed at high drain usage. This is a quick look at the packaging, just very standard, just some basic warnings on the back and onto the first set. These are 2,500 milliamps an hour with a maximum discharge of 40 amps and a continuous discharge current of 20 amps. It's not unusual to have slightly lower capacity cells with the higher amperage drain. These are flat top cells, there's no protection circuit on them. They're slightly different chemistry from the other 18650s that you might have used, the non high drain ones, and onto the 2900 milliamps an hour. They have a rating of 30 amps maximum discharge with a continuous discharge of 15 amps. So you have higher capacity, but not quite as high a drain. Length on these is 65 millimeters. They're pretty much the same, these cells, the unprotected IMR cells are pretty much the same length. And I'm comparing it to the LG battery, which I also reviewed. This is 3000 milliamps an hour as well, exactly the same size. And here's a protected cell that's also flat top. You can see the circuit on the negative terminal means that it's slightly longer. Now I've been testing these out pretty much for a week solid and using them in my uh, Kanga vape mod, um, charging and using all of the different batteries and I haven't found any problems so far and they seem to be lasting a similar amount of time to the LG battery. If you don't have a device which will accept the flat tops, you can use a magnetic spacer. These are five millimeter ones and just put it on the top. It will still be slightly shorter, but it can be used with torches and other devices. The internal resistance test that we run measures the internal resistance of each cell. So we're looking for under 100 and we get that with all of the cells, which indicates that they are new. Worn cells will show in the hundreds, maybe three, 400 milliohms. And the capacity says test, all of the cells came in above the rated capacity. And I ran this test a few times and I got very similar results. So I'm quite happy with the performance of these cells. There are a couple of points to note. Firstly, on battery safety, these don't have the protection circuit, which isn't a problem in most cases, but don't over discharge them. That doesn't really do them a lot of good in terms of keeping them performance up to the highest level. Also watch for the short circuit because of the lack of protection circuit shouldn't be a problem in most cases, but that's something to bear in mind. If you've got a lot of these batteries lying around, try and keep them in the case if possible. So based on my usage so far, I have to say these are pretty decent cells, but I will update the review with any comments if I have anything further to add. Don't forget to check out my other battery and charger reviews, and I will see you in the next video.